Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm whispering right now, but I got other roommates in here and I'm trying to be quiet. So today I got another review for you from another Shea Moisture product. This one that you see in front of you is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Moisturizer. I ended up finding this at a Target near my mother and father's house when I went to go visit them a long time ago, maybe like last year, and I've been using it ever since. And sorry if I'm sniffling, it is really, really cold outside. But I ended up picking this product up from Target. It is about $11.99 plus tax. And this product is only available at select Target stores. It might not be at every single Target store. I don't know any other place where it can be. So if you do happen to find it at another store, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to read them. But... I end up picking this product up because before I end up using the Juice Beauty Oil Free Moisturizer and I really like that stuff but it is super expensive like I'm talking $28 plus tax expensive and it's only be found online or at Ulta Beauty and I didn't have the money to get my favorite moisturizer so I had to let that go for a minute and I end up doing some research and I discovered this stuff. So I end up picking this up and I mostly use it after I use the African Black Soap Face and Body Bar and the toner, which I will be doing a review on very soon. This stuff here, it's, it's white in appearance. It's very white in appearance as you can see. Um, I've used quite a lot of it. I've been using it for some time now and this is how much is left in the jar. You don't really need a lot to cover your face. It says here that it's good for um, blemish, oily skin, combination skin, and even if you have acne, there's more ingredients on the back here. There's a description on the back and then the ingredient list is here. You might not be able to see it, but that's pretty much what the jar looks like outside of this box. Now, to clarify what my skin is like, I do have oily to combination skin. During the summer, it gets really, really bad to where my T-zone would get so oily to where it would look like I had been doing a workout outside and I would be sweating furiously. That's how bad it was. In fact, it was so bad that I would have to go into a bathroom, get some paper towels or some tissue and blot my face, blot all the excess oil out. <laughs> excess oil out. And I hated that. So I picked this up. Needless to say, this stuff works very, very well, and I can see why most people have been raving about it. Every time I apply it after I'm done applying my toner, it leaves a nice, smooth, matte finish to my skin, which is a great primer of sorts, a great little canvas of sorts to apply my tinted moisturizer. And I guess if you consider tinted moisturizer makeup, that's about the closest I've ever gotten to makeup. But this stuff leaves a nice smooth matte finish that I really really like to my skin and it really controls my oil very very well. The only only problem that I have with this and this is a very common problem is the smell. The smell is just in fact nah you know what I'm not even gonna smell it. <laughs> okay the smell and I'm not the only one to complain about this but the smell smells like straight up garbage. Like somebody just took a bag of garbage, a full bag of garbage and forgot to take it out, let alone even forgot to tie it up. This stuff does not smell good at all. That would be the only complaint I have about this stuff. It just, I guess when I first picked it up and I first opened it, the smell hit me and I ended up turning my nose at it. It just didn't smell good. But over time as I got to use this stuff, I almost either got so used to the scent I either got used to the scent or I just didn't smell it at all so I guess I got I guess you could say to an extent that I got used to the scent because I just open it put this stuff on and I don't even care to smell it it just I guess if you can tolerate the smell after a while I think you might be able to if you can with repeated use of this stuff you might not even smell it at all my advice is if you're gonna use this Try to use it without actually trying to smell it. Don't worry about the smell. Worry about the product's effectiveness. And I can tell you right now, this stuff is very effective. Very effective. And 
If I didn't have the money to get my Juice Beauty Oil Free Moisturizer, I would gladly purchase this again. Because it's really, really good, despite the fact that it smells like garbage. And it might be due to the ingredients. But, without a doubt, this is going to be on my list as a backup moisturizer for Juice Beauty's Oil Free Moisturizer. But, regardless, this product is really, really good and it's... And it's good if you have severe oily skin, acne prone skin, or even combination skin. Or even if you just want to control oil in your T-zone area on your face. So, that's my review on it. If you have tried it before, leave your opinions and whatnot in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story. More will be coming from me soon, and I will be seeing you.